the game of cricket was introduced to India by some British traders uh, back in the 18th century or the beginning of the 18th century. Uh, today, India ranks higher than England in the ICC and higher than South Africa. <laughs> uh, how do you see this journey, um, India's journey, both on the cricket pitch and the geopolitical arena? Yeah, I mean, a fascinating debate, and uh, thank you so much for, uh, for, for bringing me to India again. It is a place that I, I love. Uh, I've been coming here for 20 years now, uh, and the country just keeps getting better and better. With, I think with the world and where the world is at the moment, cricket or sport can be the one that sort of unifies the world. I, I, I think uh, talking about South Africa, we saw what happened to South Africa in 1995 when South Africa won the Rugby World Cup and what r sport did for South Africa. Uh, you saw what it did again a, a couple of years ago when, when South Africa won and Sierra Khaleesi gave that whole speech. Uh, and I will reference rugby, but then I'll also reference uh, the, the opportunity within sport uh, and, uh, and how that can be a leader in the sort of uh, tumultuous world that we're living in at the moment. Uh, there's conflict everywhere. I don't sit here, I sit here as an ex-sportsman, I sit here as a father of two children. Uh, and I was just speaking to Tony just uh, in, in the back of the, the hall there about where the world is at uh, and, and where we see the world. And, and as Joe Public, the world is actually a very scary place for us. And so for me, sitting here now, just trying to understand uh, so many different opinions, you hear Russia speak uh, uh, only an hour or so ago, you then hear uh, the, the, the gentleman last night, you hear Bill Gates talking about certain ways the world's going. I can just say from my side that the world for, for Joe Public is a very scary place. Digitally, scary. The war, scary. Pandemics, future pandemics, scary. So when we talk about cricket and we talk about that opportunity to unite, sport should be used, sport can be used. The relationships between England uh, and India, I mean, I was one of the first guys that broke away from, from England and, and, uh, and had that sort of uh, separation from the national side because of my affiliation with India and the IPL and the start of the IPL. You now have a look at the world of cricket that we're talking about. All the players from all around the world, friendships, almost homes here in this beautiful country. That's what cricket has done. English players, great friendships with Indian players. Indian players have great friendships with English players, with players from the Caribbean. Australian players. I know you guys are playing in a huge series at the moment against Australia. During, before and after those games, the friendships are rife. And so I think that sport can be used in some sort of fashion to be able to try and mend it. Cricket's an issue because China and America don't play cricket. <laughs> Russia definitely don't play cricket. <laughs> Interesting you say that because you're also the one who's highlighted uh, politics in the boardroom and the dressing room and you've written about it. And how, how did that impact you as a player? How did it impact your game? And, and your idea of what it takes to be a leader. Yeah, I, I don't think, pol yeah, I mean, on the flip side, I don't think uh, politics should merge with sport in a, in a manner where it, it, it picks teams uh, and it favors um, different people. Um, but I actually think the world has changed a lot since I wrote that book. Uh, and I actually think that right now, any opportunity to unify and to unite uh, whether it's countries, whether it's people, I think it needs to happen. The world has changed so much. I mean, we've just been through a, a pandemic. The last couple of years have been chaos for all of us. So if there are new opportunities and we need to change the way that we think, I think now is the right time to do it. And if cricket in this conversation is something that can be used or sport is a conversation that can be used, why can't we use it? <laughs>